Hey guys, do you know why a pinhead can teleport to his box while it's being worked on by a survivor? Because pinhead's really good at thinking outside the box. <laughs> My life is spiraling. Hi guys, Brain here. Today I wanted to talk about the reason that I think py uh, Pyramid Head, oops, I almost made that mistake in the intro too. Uh, I want to talk today about how Pinhead, Pinhead, only one P head, <laughs> uh, is so fun to play in Dead by Daylight. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with that, friendos. So, why is Pinhead so fun to play in Dead by Daylight? Well, I'm going to dig into my D&D &D, uh, side of my thought process. It's not DBD, D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons. That's what we're going to be talking about today, and specifically a, a metagame turn that comes uh, from Dungeons and Dragons called Action Economy. And if you have not heard of what an Action Economy is, uh, it's just kind of this idea of like, how much can I do with the one turn I have been allotted? It's obviously it's good to have a high action economy good example of like a high action economy would be like i can move i can attack i can have another attack after that i have a bonus action stuff like that like i can do like four or five things in one turn where somebody with a low action economy may only be able to do like one or two things and that's probably you know that guy is not going to be able to input in much as much into the game that turn as the guy with the higher action economy because he could quite literally do more at the same time that other person can and i think Pinhead, in the terms of Dead by Daylight, has a very, very high action economy. Uh, and let me walk through just like a, a short example of like that high action economy. So you start the match, you go find a survivor, you try to go to one of the corners, check a gen, find a person on the gen, hit them. Uh, they go to a tile, you chase them in the tile, you use your chain, you use your M2 to slow them down at the tile, down them relatively quicker than a lot of killers can. Uh, and by this time, the chain hunt is about to start or is, or has started. Uh, and as a result, somebody has grabbed the lament configuration. They've grabbed the box. So now you have the choice uh, to either slug this person and teleport or hook the person. And if you have the add-on that allows you to, uh, you know, takes the survivor longer to open the box, you can probably hook them and teleport to the box. And now you're pressuring somebody on the, like, likely on the opposite side of the map. Uh, just, just like that, just like that. And if that box happened to be near where you guys ended up chasing, you can chase them down, hit them, knock them down, take the box from them. And now you know where everybody on the map is and a chain hunt begins anyway. So like, j I just listed like 10 million things just in like the opening part of the match. And this kind of like game flow that he has, he has good flow <laughs> that he takes throughout like the entire match. Like he's always, always, always doing something. Like there's like rarely a time that you're playing Pinhead that you're like, you have a lot of downtime, but you don't know what you should be doing or what you can be doing uh, because his power uh, is so multi-layered and the way he works as a killer is so multi-layered that like he has this ability to do so much at any given point. And I, it's just really cool. He has a high action economy compared to a lot of characters in the game. And I think that's like why where a lot of characters fail in Dead by Daylight. Like, God bless him. I love Mookwa Myers. Obviously, he's been my main since I started playing the game. But if I'm being frank, like he has a very, very poor action economy. Like you quite literally part of your kid is just standing there <laughs> right part of your gate is literally just standing there and a lot of killers that are kind of like on the lower end of dead by daylight have that problem where they have so much downtime your your power isn't like doesn't have this efficiency to it it doesn't have this it doesn't feel like a lot of stuff is happening with your power and you spend a lot of time just kind of like walking around or chasing very blandly you know um the pinhead, I would argue, despite, you know, also not being one of the stronger characters, the game is like the direct opposite of that. Like he is, he is like, he always has something going on. And in the game where there's so much time spent either holding him one on a gen or trying to defend gen and kick that gen, I think it's very, very important to have that action economy, to have such a high action economy where there's just so much going on with him and you have so many options of what you can do with him at any given point that it feels like the game is exciting <laughs> you know it feels like you have so many options of what to do and you're not just you know lumbering around the map and i think that's what makes him such an exciting character to play because he does have that uh high action economy and you're always up to something you're always up to something you always have uh choices options etc yeah so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, small commentary video, friendos. Uh, if you like what I do, make sure to like, you like, 
uh, with the thumb thing below. And hopefully you consider subbing because we are trying to reach that 1,000 subs. So I really, really appreciate if you helped me get there. Uh, tell a friend maybe, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching me today. And if I don't see you in the next video, I'll see you when I see you, friends. Goodbye.